This is the Muskegon Heritage Museum. It's an industrial museum. They have a uh, chorus engine, a steam engine, which actually works. And uh, we're going to go inside and take a video of it. This is where the chorus engine came out of. <coughs> Excuse me. This was uh, known as Stuart Hartshorn uh, Curtain Roll Company. If you have curtain rolls that you pull down and it comes back up, they made curtain rolls here. And this engine came out of here. Now this is the uh, older part of the building and when they had this uh, put over another use uh, they tore it down but this is all the uh, walls of the original uh, building here and probably the engine was down in here and the curtain roll which is what it was known as in Muskegon, Michigan. Um, I think it shut down in the uh, early 1980s. And so we're just lucky that they uh, preserved that coreless engine. Okay, this is the coreless engine. And uh, they kind of stopped it in the wrong position. and they're going to fire this thing up. Okay, as I was saying, this is run on compressed air, but I'll let them explain it. You've got all that. You've got a time in that, the one in Grand Rapids, which they had all the parts. Yeah, he's been there, too. He's been there. Well, if you want to explain about it, you can. I'll let you do it. Well, this, uh, I don't know that much about it either, but it takes about two pounds of uh, air to run it. Uh, that flywheel weighs six tons. And this uh, the steam engine has the pressure from, from both ends, from it uh, going and coming. It, uh, like on the, on the train, and that is just one way. Where this has it, it pushes it both ways. The steam, and then that's the governor there that has those little balls spread out. It'll slow the the uh, machine down, and keep it in line. It basically, doesn't allow the valve. The governor when it lifts it, it, when it lifts up, it doesn't allow the valve to lift it. And you watch the thing will slow down. Yeah. Okay, could you do that again? <laughs> I'm putting you to work. I'm putting you to work. Okay. But you can hear it bleeding off energy that way. When the valves don't open the car, so it starts to slow way down. Okay. And that's where the thing, even though it sounds a little crude, that's where the thing of balls to the wall comes from. Okay. Because as the machine sped up, sped up, sped up, the fastest that it could go was when the balls went all the way out and uh, that's where, where that thing comes from. Okay, now how many horsepower is this, you know? If I'm not mistaken, you know what, I don't know, it may be on the thing over there. It's a very small double acting cord steam engine. It was designed to run a dynamo and not all that much power, lots of momentum, mm -hmm. and it was designed to run at a higher speed than this, but we have only got a certain amount of air pressure. I think generally when it's running a dynamo, it's running at about 90 RPM, and we're running about 20. Okay, so, now is this what it did at Hart Shore and Curtain, ran the curtain Roll? Ran for their life. That's what it did? Yep. And then, and then they ran, they used the electricity to power um, electric motors. Do they have a line shaft going up in there, or is it just, or do they have the electric motors directly connected to the equipment? I believe they used the line shaft, but not driven by this engine, driven by a bigger one. They had another, they had another steam engine. Oh, really? This one was strictly, I believe, white. Yeah, just for the power, yeah. just to run the power plant. Okay. 
to run the, uh, the electricity in the plant. Hmm. The horsepower question is a good one, and I don't know the answer to it. Okay. So, I'm not sure what they develop in terms of horsepower. What I do know is they have momentum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ten tons or twelve tons worth of flywheel right there. Right. Or eleven. Yeah, six, six, six tons. Twelve thousand pounds. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. how many feet in diameter is the flywheel? Um. Yeah. Looks like about ten feet, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Well, more than that. Well, yeah. Because you must be. Ten feet, and I, and, I, and to put perspective on it, that belt is uh, fifty feet long. Okay. I'm just going to take a picture of the steam gauge there that's going up and down. I think that's the pressure gauge. Is that the yeah. cylinder pressure or is that the yeah. steam? It's the pressure in this line right here, which is basically all of the lines. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it takes about two pounds of uh, uh, pressure per run. Okay. It was converted. Obviously, it's designed to run on steam. Right. Um, it was converted. They ran it on compressed air for the first six years using a big compressor, and we wouldn't have been able to talk at all. You know, very noisy, very loud, very smoky. Yeah, smoky oil. <laughs> and they just switched over in this past year and are now running it on a little regenerative blower. Oh, really? That this big. Hmm. And makes next to no noise. This is not compressed air at all. Well, it is compressed air, but it's basically just at yeah, two pounds, so it's just a bowing. Yeah, yeah, it's just because it has that, uh, like on the porch, it has that uh, the blower. With a blower, yeah. So it's like a roots blower and a dragster engine, basically. Exactly. I see. see there's no tank uh, or the contact uh, pressure and no air. contact blower. Okay. Right. You don't run out, it just gets used to something different for a few seconds. Okay. And for a while that thing will run on its own. So. But it does have a, a safety valve uh, uh, outlet on it so that if it keeps running, the air will blow out to another place, uh, to the bottom. Now I think it is hooked up to the tank too, but... It, it is hooked up yeah. to the tank because yeah, they didn't, it was easy to plumb that way. Yeah, but it's not, uh, it's not running from the tank. Though. It doesn't require the tank to run. No. Yeah. Okay. This here was just to drain when it was the steam to drain the water out of the okay. uh, condensed in there. So that brass fitting with a PVC pipe looks like up there. What is that? This one. Oh, that's right, a piece right of paper. Up there. Oh, okay. But I mean, what is this device here? What does that do? It's actually a. I think it's a temperature recorder. Oh, that's right. So I see that. I see the graft yeah. hands right up there. Okay. So, I don't remember if that's, uh, I think it's part of it. I think it's actually a temperature recorder, not a steam pressure yeah. recorder. But okay. it's not part of the machine. No, no. They, they just added that on there? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why, why they did. It must be, well, they had it, so they probably wanted to use it. But okay. The fellow that really uh, got it going is not here today, but... Uh, he knows all about it. He's yeah, a motorcycle. I'm not sure why. That's good. For him. But it wasn't running, and then he was here one day, and he said he could get it going, and he did. And this past uh, winter, we had a donation from C.W. Marsh and Company here in Muskegon, uh, and we went over to their facility and took down about 75, 80 feet of line shaft. Hmm. and all of the pillow blocks and hangers and stuff and uh, so that was the winter project was to get the line shafts up and working and get some equipment running off the line shaft. Okay. And the fellow that owns the uh, draining company donated the belts or he paid hmm. for it. Oh, okay. Uh, he's about $1,500 worth of belts. So. Let's get a little close up of the uh, linkage working. Actually, that a big that downstairs a little bit too and take a look at it. Give them an idea of what we're running it off of. Oh, okay. That I think is amazing. Either this or 